Pittsburgh, Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Cincinnati, and all over. Uh, about 18 years. Did you really run up? 10 years. 20 years I've been out here. Oh, Michigan. 26 years. Running away from communism, I came out uh, here in uh, capitalist system. A so-called uh, democracy didn't find it because it's the same here as it had been in a uh, communist country. The land of brave and of <laughs> whatever. Oh man, it's, it's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that's going on that should be going on, man. You know what I mean? And I mean, you know, uh, they don't want us to be out here, but they ain't got no places for us to go. You know what I mean? And then they only have the shelters for so, so many limited shelters. And then you're only allowed to go at a certain time. They bring you back and dump you off there on the street in the morning. And then everybody ain't got nowhere to go. But then again, you can't be nowhere on the sidewalk. You can't lay down sleep or nothing. You know what I mean? And that's cool. And then the police come through and they fuck with you all day long, even if you ain't doing nothing. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm on parole and everything, yeah. But I mean, I'm not doing nothing. You know, they just come up on me and you know what I'm saying? They don't know whether I'm on parole or not before they even stop me. You know what I mean? And that's against the law. You see, but that, that, I mean, this is what's going on in California. What needs to be stopped, though? You know, because this, this, this is crazy. I don't know. Cause it seems like there's plenty of food, but I don't know if there's a lot of apartments. There's, um, there aren't in the SROs. There aren't that many rooms. There's so many people that come on the streets. Be honest, my wife, being her separated, no, uh, she had the place, and I took off. <laughs> I was out of here. She cheated on me with a friend of mine. Since I had a place with a friend of mine, but he got a, he went he wound up uh, going to jail for something, and I turned around, and lost the place. But uh, shelters can't help; they kick you out at six in the morning, so I can't I can't ask for a shelter. The homeless situation, um, I know for myself, I kind of put it on the back burner because I can be selfish sometimes, but I know that it's like a drastic situation. And something needs to happen. If you go to Skid Row, I mean, it's just like lines of like tents and it's crazy. And you know, sometimes for myself, I know um, I get so caught up in the fact that I have a home and I, I can't even like imagine how that must feel just being out on the streets and you have nothing. And from what I'm told, it can happen to anybody. So that's real stuff. I think it's very sad and I wish there's something I could do. It's just easy to live here, easier to live here with the weather being easier. Yeah. I've talked to some homeless people near where I work. Yeah. Yeah, I say goodnight to them when I leave at night and they have their little teddy bears and they're sweet. One thing I want you to remember is this. You can be in a house, you can be in a mansion, you can be in the street. If you live by the word of God, if you live by his Ten Commandments, you're going to be alright because he's going to take care of you.